So in this video, I want to discuss that message you see there. The Avid video engine was unable to stop. Now this happens when you're working with video inside of Pro Tools. I upload one to two videos a week and it annoys me. So I could imagine somebody that does audio for video for a living and have to constantly deal with this particular problem. As far as normal usage, and what I mean by normal usage, mixing, recording audio, I really don't have a problem. Here's the thing, I am using Windows 10, not a supported operating system, and on top of that, I'm using a pre-release version of Windows 10. Here's why I say it's not Windows 10. Same problem occurs with Windows 7, Windows 8, even happens in the Mac world. You can also say it's codec related, it could be QuickTime, it, it could be a lot of things. And you know what? You're probably right, but there are so many people having this particular problem and we're trying to find a solution. I remember reading the PDF to uh, .5 release and if I remember correctly, I did read something about that this particular problem has been solved. So what I want to show you in this video is two or three methods that have worked for me when I run into this particular problem. There's a possibility that what I show you in this video won't work. So you have to figure out what works for you, what doesn't. With all that said, let's dive right into it. I want to show you guys what has helped me in the past. So I'll come to the video track, press this little option here, which uh, completely shuts off the video track. So if I press play, as you can see, it's playing, but you're not seeing any video. Sometimes that works. Another thing that works, if I'm in the middle of the session, press enter, the playhead should go to the beginning. Now I will give it a couple of seconds and hopefully it should work. Another thing that can work, go to setup, go to playback engine, and what we want to do, we want to disable the video engine. So once you uncheck it, give it a couple of seconds, re-enable it again, hopefully it should work. For the most part, doing it this way has worked for me. If it doesn't, you're gonna have to restart Pro Tools and try all over again. Whenever you run into problems in Pro Tools, you should find the preferences, delete them, and see if that works. But with this particular problem, it didn't help. But it's always a good idea to give that a try. So in the middle of editing this video, I decided, you know what, I wanna talk about another problem that's in Pro Tools, and I'm pretty sure it's happening to a lot of you guys. So besides the video problem that I just discussed, there's this problem when you have a click track, nothing else in your session, your CPU spikes and Pro Tools gives you the warning and an error code along with it telling you that your computer's running out of CPU power. And there isn't any fix for that at the moment. Avid has to patch that. What worries me, what about if I'm in the middle of a session with a client, we're working on a production, and that happens? That kind of sucks. Your creativity goes right out the door. I get it. Bugs are going to be there. It's going to happen. These programs are made by people, and there are a lot of different configurations in computers. So problems are going to happen. And I know there's a couple of you guys out there that hate Pro Tools. I get the messages. I see what you guys write. Why am I using it? It sucks. You could do this with that. I could use that other program. You know what? If you check YouTube, there are a lot of people that have audacity and they do amazing work. And to me, that's all that matters, that you use a specific program, you learn that program, and your results, it's what matters. Not the tools you're using. Sure, they are helping you, but if you master something, it doesn't matter what you're using. And that's the way I feel with Pro Tools. I know Pro Tools like the back of my hand, and that's why I continue to use it. It would be great if Avid would fix some of these problems. It's also great that they're adding all these great features that we never had access to. Now we have this collaboration tool, which I personally don't use. Eventually, I'll try it out. But I'm going to stop rambling here. What I want you guys to do, check the description. I'm going to have some information to all of these uh, topics that we spoke about here in this video. But for the meantime, what you can do is you can click that box right there. You see game over. Click that's going to take you to my previous video, which is going to discuss another problem.